compilations aside, the MK Mugen community has made some great things that even the Master Idbun himself would be proud of. Although the community is a huge graveyard of dead and abandoned games, these games haven't been buried yet and are still alive, standing above the rest. Keep in mind that this isn't a numbered list. So with that said, here are the top upcoming MK Mugen games of 2017. Mortal Kombat Outworld Yes, MKO is still being worked on and there have been huge changes since you last saw MKO on Black Sarx Co's channel. The game is now running on a brand new engine that is the Unity engine. The new engine allows for more freedom and more features. The new features include online multiplayer, a safe file system which means new and secret unlockables and more. The confirmed roster is everyone from the first 4 MK games minus Jarek with the addition of Tremor and new characters which are Kaijin, the God of Fire and Behemoth. A new engine means that Black Sarx Co will have to start from the bottom once again so a release this year is highly unlikely. Now where can you find updates for MKO? Well there was previously an MKO Facebook group that was even run by Black Sarx Co himself and it actually had constant updates. However the group and Black Sarx Co's profile has been deleted without any explanation so sadly, there isn't a place to find up-to-date updates for MKO. So, I'll simply just link the official MKO channel despite it not having any updates in a long time. So, while making this video, Black Sarx Co has decided to cancel Mortal Kombat Outworld. Only just a minute ago, I said that these games in this list aren't dead. And then this happens. Fuck's sake. Sub-Zero wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. Mortal Kombat Vendetta Fight on. Created by Alan Flores, MKV brings new innovation in the MK Mugen scene. Using a heavily edited version of Mugen 1.1, the game aims to bring new combat systems, x-ray moves, a new life bar system, new moves and more. A new feature that is planned for MKV is a history mode, but Alan Flores wants to keep this mode in secrecy. The new engine allows for round transitions and secret fights which is something that is really needed in all MK Mugen games. The game's roster consists of the fan favorite ninjas and cyborgs. The roster also includes heavily edited versions of old MKP characters such as Moon, Propagator, Avenger and more. Each character will have their own exclusive sprites and animations. For more updates on MKV, please do check out Alan Forrest's channel. Mortal Kombat Devastation A game that has been worked on for over two years behind the scenes, created by the MKP Team 26, MKDT uses Borg's engine and MKDT has a huge focus on gameplay with the inclusion of MKX's 3 variation system. For all characters, their 3 variations will be a classic UMK3 variant, a variant which focuses on combos and air combos, and lastly, their own custom MKDT variant which consists of different fighting styles and moves. There is also a big focus on story. The story follows up on John Tobias' storyline. There is plans for a second Earthrealm invasion, but Shinnok has joined Shao Kahn's forces in their final attempt to take Earthrealm. MKDT has plans for over 30 plus characters in their roster, each with new sprites and animations. Now, there aren't any plans for a release date as the team doesn't want to rush out their game, but to find updates for MKDT, visit the official YouTube channel. Link is in the description below. Round 1 FIGHT! Mortal Kombat 2 Bloodstorm Remake A remake of Japan Bruno's MK Bloodstorm, Ivan Forst aka Spore aims to recreate what MK2 Bloodstorm once was. I asked Ivan some questions and here I quote him. Since Japan won't release original 2D MKBS, I decided to do a very close remake but make it even better. Using Borg's Season 2.5 engine, MK2 PSR will have many additions such as new sprites, special moves, Remade stages, super combos, fatalities, all while keeping with the original MKBS feeling. Now, Spore has actually recently only started to work on everything, so a release date or beta release soon is highly unlikely. Spore does have an official channel for this, but it is currently inactive, so to find occasional updates, visit the MK Mugenworks Facebook group, where he occasionally posts screenshots and updates. Cyrax wins. Mortal Kombat Quadrilogy Created by Hello Scorpion, MKQ is what MK Trilogy should have been. Since the game is already out, there's not much to talk about, 
However, I do have info regarding future updates. MKQ's future updates will have many fixes and additions, such as better endurance mode, better AI, automatic positioning for fatalities, intro and ending for boss fights, and a lot more. New characters will also be added in future updates, more specifically, MK Mythology's characters, such as Serena, Kia, Fire God, Onero, Fujin, etc. Her little scorpion has always delivered with high quality creations, and the future updates to MKQ will be no exception. I will definitely be making a video on all updates that gets released. However, I do suggest going to Hello Scorpion's channel to check out constant updates and edition videos from KQ. Link for his channel will be in the description below. MKP 4.1 Season 2 Now, before you go asking me, what the hell MKA? Why is this on the list when Borg clearly announced that he stopped working on this game? Well, Borg might have stopped working on this game, but the community hasn't. Demon225, Vadim FVE, Boris, and Interpreter Mugen have been working together to create a brand new update for MKP Season 2. I interviewed Vadim and I can confirm that this update is going to be huge. It will have working combat codes, new blood graphics, new character reactions, complete character overhauls, added sound effects, sprite improvements, new harakiris and fatalities, alternate wind poses, new special moves for certain characters, new stages, new graphic filters, and the list goes on and on and on. For the future, one major addition that they plan to add are two story arenas similar to UMK3. I will link Demon's channel in the description. Head over there to find more MKP Season 2.6 videos. Johnny Cage wins flawless victory. Fatality. Six months. Six months is how long this video was in the works for. I want to personally thank everyone who helped me make this video. Obviously the people that I interviewed. It was a huge mission trying to get in contact with all of you at first, but the end payment was totally worth it. These people include Alan Flores, Ganjo TM, Rico26, Ivan Forst, Hello Scorpion, Vadim FVE, and Borg117. Also thank you to all the people who created the Extra Mentions games, so Marcos, Fireboy, Brew Design, Undertaker, and the BM team, The Realist, Borg117, Demon 225 and Peter. You guys deserve credits as well, especially Borg117 who I got to interview myself. Also thank you to Original King Julian94 who critiqued this video during his development and helped me make this video even more better. Also thank you to Adriano GT and Leon for helping me find the necessary contacts for this video. Lastly, all of you guys, the viewers, for all of the support you've given me and especially for being patient while I was making this video. Thank you all for watching.